lesson four and I'm looking at exercise six and breaking down or practice technique. Now this is something that you're going to find uh, I do a lot of uh, and the more advanced your playing becomes the more you need to do this because the pieces get longer and they become more difficult. You can't possibly learn to play a piece of music in one shot. You can't start at the beginning and get to the end and expect to successfully play your way through the piece of music. Um, now the normal technique used, or the most simple technique to use is normal is repetition of small sections. Now in this case you can see in exercise 6a I've taken out the first, I think it's the first two bars of the piece and separated them from the rest of the music. Now, this is to give you a chance to think through the rhythm and remember rhythm, vitally important you get the rhythm in your head before you play a note. Always get the rhythm right and then you'll find playing is much, much easier. So, that's why I've put the, the, the rhythm here in Taz and Tatties and it goes ta fa ti fi ta ti ta ti ta Ta-fa, ti ta fi ta ti ta Now I would say that several times and practice it, maybe clapping it. Ta-fa, ti fi ta ti ta ti ta Ta-fa, ti fi ta fi ta ti ta Get that in your head before you play a note. Then have a look at the key signature. Sort out where your fingering is going to go. Well, we're on a D major scale, so as you come down in the second bar, we're going to have to be using right hand C sharp and left hand B. So we have to be aware of where our pinkies need to be. And then once you've done all of that, you can play it, but play it slowly. Or maybe slower. Go through the rhythm again. Ta fa ti fi ta ti ta ti ta. Ta fa ti fi ta fi ta ti ta. And then try playing it. Now, of course, I played it perfectly first time. You probably won't do so. But it's far better to work on that two-bar section and get that correct, and then move on to the next section. So anytime you have a difficulty in future, try and break it down like that. Now, I've taken it, you'll find during the music, I take out what I consider to be the most difficult bars, uh, the little sections that I think you need to work on the most, and gone through this process and try and do that diligently each time and you'll find you actually learn much faster. You might think it's a slower process but in the long run it's not.